I'm Ronnie, this is Sherry, and this is Shut Up and Drink. And today we are going to be making a what? We are going to be making a kind of modern, fun, original take on the traditional rum swizzle. So the name of this cocktail is La Potion 510. So to start with a traditional rum swizzle, um, anything that's going to kind of go at the bottom of the drink is going to not really be like super muddled, but it's going to be mashed. When I'm thinking about building this cocktail, I'm actually thinking about drinking it through a straw, not wanting like huge hunks of strawberry um, to get in the way of me drinking my rum drink. So. We're gonna just do like, you know, two medium-sized strawberries-ish. And instead of really, really hardcore muddling, we're just gonna kind of press it down, release the juice, and then it'll look really pretty at the bottom. And choosing strawberry because, you know, we're, we're headed into spring and I think everybody's ready for warmer weather and spring fruits. And strawberries are one of the berries that kind of emerge earlier in the spring. <laughs> so the next part, I'm just kind of grabbing a handful of mint. I actually prefer to have them on the stalks because yet again, I'm thinking about drinking this through a straw. It's probably medium size, 10 leaves or so, stalk included, no problem with that. And we're kind of kind of just let a lot of the oils kind of get up into the sides of the glass. We're pausing because there's a fire alarm. Yes, we are taking the mint and we're kind of just gently rubbing it up against the side. Got to rub the sides. <laughs> to, um, to just release some oils. Now we're going to start to build our cocktail right in the, in the glass that we're drinking it in. So we're going to start with day rum. And this is a local based out of Berkeley. We're going to do two ounces of rum. And we're gonna put this just right on top of everything that we've already built. And get a nice, get, you know, you gotta go right to the top. Nice full two ounce pour of rum. Uh, traditionally, you know, I'm sure swizzles use some darker rums, but this is our unique take on a nice, fun, fresh, lighter version. So the next part of the cocktail is going to be Lille Blanc, which is kind of like a French wine aperitif really delicate and lightly sweet. So we're gonna, this is a one ounce jigger. We're gonna kind of measure just about a half ounce of it. Uh, it's delicate, it's slightly floral, fun to work with. For this drink, and then the other sweetener we're gonna use is just a simple syrup, um, because the lay in and of itself really is not gonna get you the balance that you need. Um, for a well balanced cocktail all day. So we're just gonna, this is simple syrup. We're gonna do another little half ounce. You know, this is an ounce right here, so I'm just eyeballing it. And we're gonna add one. The final, like, kind of main, main ingredient is going to be our lime juice. So, if you know me, it's always fresh squeezed lime. Always. Always, always. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so we'll just cut two. And then we're gonna do almost a full ounce. Ooh. Full ounce of lime. So, let's see here. These are juicy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Little extra tarts. We'll just leave that there. I'm gonna add this. Okay. So the next step, we're gonna be adding our crushed ice. This was hand crushed by Chef Ronnie. Beautiful crushed ice. We're gonna fill it all the way, just basically to the top with some crushed ice. Okay, my hands are clean, don't worry. Food service, we know how to wash our hands. Okay, now we are going to take our swizzle stick. And this is what makes this drink so fun and different. In action. Let's top it off with just a little kind of cute mountain of fresh crushed ice. And then for this cocktail, just to make it even kind of springier and lighter, we're gonna add just a hint of Beaver Tree Club Soda, a little fizz, and then we're gonna top it off with the Peshawd Bitters, um, which is, you know, Swizzles traditionally, I believe, use Angostura Bitters, but we're gonna do, I don't know, 10 drops on the top 
Peshawd's is lighter. It's perfect for this cocktail because it's made with citrus and florals as well. And there you have it. We're gonna add a straw and garnish with a fresh strawberry and some mint. Let's get a nice beautiful spray of mint in here. There you have it. Love Potion 510. Cheers. Okay. Again, with the rum swizzle, we'll be starting with our glass and building everything into the glass. With this beautiful spearmint. The same thing with like what Sherry did. We're just going to pick off and leaving the stem attached. The reason we're using the stem attached is so that all those leaves don't break up at the bottom of, the, of our glass. So, I'm gonna give them a quick rub in my hands. Drop them in. Again, about eight to 10 leaves. Give them a quick smash. Not too crazy, okay? We're using a bar spoon that has a flat end to it. You can, I would not suggest muddling it. And just like Sherry did, we're gonna take these leaves and rub them on the inside of the glass. The reason we're gonna rub them on the inside of the glass this is going to release some of those oils on that glass. And when we pour everything in, oh, it gets flavored. Next, third day rum, two ounces. Next up, velvet falernum. Velvet falernum is a aromatic, mm, slightly sweet uh, product of Barbados. It only about, I think it's only about 11% alcohol. You're doing half ounce of this. In Cherry's video, she used a simple syrup, a just a plain simple syrup, just white sugar and water. I'm gonna be actually using a molasses half ounce, not too sweet. Side. Now let's cut some fresh limes. Again, fresh citrus. And just like Sherry, we'll be going a little heavy on our citrus. I'm not gonna fully measure it out because I don't know how much goes in here, boom, that's one. You go one full lime. All right, so that's three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and now we're gonna go with a half an ounce of orange juice. Now for ice. Really get a lot of ice in there. This is an icy cocktail. If I can get it in there, come on. All right, do not get it everywhere. Put it up to the top, kind of pack it in there. She uses a swizzle, I'll be using bar stone. And just, um, it's like you're starting a fire like they always showed you in TV shows, it doesn't actually work that well unless you know what you're doing. Do that. I'll take a little bit more ice, put that on top. Try to spill it everywhere. As the ambiance, fish hot bitters, uh, a traditional, Swizzle asks for, well, I wouldn't say traditional, but most of the time used for Angostura because they're very aromatic. I'm using Fish Shot. I like Fish Shot better. That is a more traditional rum swizzle. There you go, we have our two rum swizzles. Sherry's Love Potion number 510, which is strawberry and mint, and mine, which is more classic, just straightforward rum, honestly. All right guys, that is it for us today. Uh, links down below where you can find us along with the recipe for both of these cocktails. Uh, and if you know you wanna hit that like and subscribe button, that'd be wonderful. It's in the corner. Yeah. Cheers. And don't forget, shut up and drink. That's the problem with tea I drinks. <laughs> tea drinks are, they're made right, they're perfectly balanced, so then you're like, oh, this is delicious. And then you drink three of them and you're on your ass. <laughs>